Hawaii prepares for Ebola. Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. And I'm Yenji Denise. The Ebola outbreak in West Africa is the worst in history. And with that virus already reaching the mainland, could it reach Hawaii? KITV 4's Cam Tran explains the threat and how our state is preparing. State health workers packed this committee for one topic, Ebola. The Department of Health stresses Hawaii's Ebola risk is low. It's not very infectious, okay? It requires, actually requires direct contact. It has to enter through your mucous membranes, you touch your eye, things like that. It breaks in your skin if you have an abrasion in your skin. Hawaii had an Ebola scare earlier this month, but it turned out the patient was cleared. But the DOH says the state has to get ready just in case a scare becomes reality. We need to prepare. We've long, it's been too long that we've not been preparing already. I've been saying it. Anyone who knows me uh, knows that I've been saying we need to prepare. And, and it cannot be just lip service anymore. One of those ways to prepare is to identify which hospitals would be the most capable to care for a suspected Ebola patient. So we solicited our hospitals, identifying those with high-level intensive care capabilities, with emergency departments and other things, and we asked them, would you volunteer to be a place where we would treat an active Ebola case? Four of those hospitals, pretty much about this point, have agreed to do so. Claremont says the four hospitals are on Oahu, but the Healthcare Association of Hawaii will work with all state hospitals on how to best treat and isolate a patient suspected of having Ebola. That includes the procedures on how to use a personal protective equipment to keep health care workers safe. We have a lot of what's needed. Not, maybe not everything, but pretty close. The second thing is training. We've got to teach people how to use this stuff in a very competency-based fashion. And that means uh, everything from going there, showing them how to do it, they do it, drilling them, and running scenarios with them. Even though they've already received calls from concerned citizens about testing, the DOH says it will not test anyone until they meet a certain criteria. Some of those criteria include travel to Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone in the last three weeks, and if the patient is actively showing symptoms. To demand testing of every single traveler is not realistic. I will not guarantee you could not be incubating virus. I only want to test you if you have symptoms, and I only want to test you if you fulfill the clinical and epidemiological criteria. Cam Tran, KITV4 News. The, the Healthcare Association says they will identify the best hospitals to care for Ebola patients and start training that staff in the next two weeks. And it hopes by training the workers here, there will not be a need to fly a suspected Ebola patient to the four specialized centers on the mainland.